it has become incredibly clear that vegans don't seem to value the lives of fellow human beings over animals. If that was the case, why are there so many vegan babies and children that are being malnourished, hospitalized, even killed by these brainwashed lunatics, aka the majority of vegans? How can these people be truly convinced that these animals are so important? It it doesn't really make sense to me, especially considering the majority of food that vegans eat does cause harm in some way. When you have to grow any sort of crop, any plant, you have to spray massive amounts of herbicides and pesticides, killing millions, trillions of insects, bugs, displacing animals, killing millions of rodents, uh, smaller animals as well, that vegans don't really seem to care about. It None of this makes sense. The vegan diet, when you look at it for any reason you would follow it, doesn't make sense, uh, especially from a moral perspective. Uh, let alone a health perspective or an environmental perspective. Everything they talk about is wrong, yet babies, children, one of the most sensitive topics to bring up, are suffering at the hands of these people, and no one seems to be caring about it. All the vegans do is say, oh, you didn't do the vegan diet right. Really? Is, is, is 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 that a solution? No, that is not a solution, because very clearly evidenced by the amount of craziness that goes on in this ideology, something needs to be done. A 20-month-old girl was found severely malnourished, suffering from rickets, usually a vitamin D deficiency. She looked like a three-month-old and had no teeth. The baby could not perform basic physical actions and was incredibly developmentally delayed. Uh, my, my sister, uh, is unfortunately mentally disabled. Uh, I'm actually a triplet and you guys might get to meet my brother and my sister tomorrow. But, uh, the point is, I believe the reason that my sister is uh, disabled is because of the lack of nutrition during developmental stages. I I hate to see something like this happen almost intentionally. Uh, people really need to be educated on nutrition and the importance of animal foods in our diets. Uh, the child suffered from having to take so many blood tests. Uh, She cries when she goes into a medical room. Her weight has become disproportionate to her height, meaning this baby was obese yet starving. Pretty much what happens to all Americans now. It's an indicator of caloric nutrition in the diet without adequate vitamins, minerals, as well as protein for growth. The craziest thing about this, this poor child had two older brothers that are now in government care, that were on vegan diets. How, how This is unbelievable. Uh, it's amazing these people were not put in jail already and still allowed to reproduce. And these people are living in some like some nice house in a suburb, driving a BMW, uh, yet, yet Frankie Boy is sitting here funded by the meat industry, driving a 2003 Ford Taurus, but that's a whole different story. Uh, There were well over 15 articles on this. If you just Google vegan baby, uh, most of them Australia and New Zealand publishers. uh, It's a little bit interesting how America isn't really covering this, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Who who knows what's going on? Uh, Maybe it's because this was occurring in Australia, but hey, the mother was allegedly suffering from depression, as stated by her lawyer. Hmm, I wonder... If the depression was from her vegan diet, a little bit unusual we see all of these vegan ladies on YouTube become depressed and have hormonal issues. The court documents show the toddler's mother told doctors her daughter would generally have one cup of oats with rice milk and half a banana in the morning, a piece of toast with jam or peanut butter for lunch, and for dinner she was offered tofu, rice, or potatoes, but she said the girl was a fussy eater, so she might just have oats again. Basically, this child was eating uh, pure carbohydrates in the forms of grains, not really getting adequate nutrition. But hey, guys, whole grains are heart healthy. (laughs) Uh, This diet resulted in severe deficiencies, uh, nutrients across the board for the infant, including a lack of calcium, phosphate, vitamin B12, vitamin A, iron, and zinc. These were the nutrients stated by the article. The baby was essentially deficient in every single fat-soluble vitamin and 
you know, regardless of this baby's diet and the baby being deficient, most babies are deficient anyway in a lot of these vitamins. They're not getting optimal amounts. You know, there's a difference between deficiency and getting what you need to, to grow optimally. Uh, the baby's levels of vitamin D were abysmally low. They were actually undetectable. And this is probably the reason she had rickets and wasn't developing properly. Uh, if you don't have fat in the diet, if you don't have uh, certain animal nutrition, you're not going to be able to assimilate vitamin D3. That means that your body isn't going to be able to mobilize calcium. Vitamin D is required to mobilize calcium. Uh, then you need vitamin K for bone growth, uh, which this child was clearly not getting any of. Uh, the girl's condition was only brought to attention to doctors as of March last year. Uh, the doctors attended the infant after she suffered a seizure. Uh, seizures likely related to incredibly horrible B vitamin deficiencies. Uh, this is something that we've actually talked about uh, in that male model video. He had a seizure as well. These vegans are really underestimating the importance of vitamin B12. And I I've said this so many times. A vegan diet is so great, but make sure to take your B12 shots. That's going to be my new motto because you, you don't hear the latter part. You don't hear vegans spouting about how important B12 is. Uh, the infant had fractures throughout her tiny body. Her bones were so brittle, doctors believed they could have been broken by normal handling. Uh, imagine, you know, you, you, you see this poor baby and you, you try to pick her up and help her and she literally just crumbles apart in your hand. It's, it's absurd. The girl had little documentation, no medical records after she left the hospital in 2016 after being born in good condition. You know what kind of drives me crazy is this baby was found weighing less than what some babies are born at. And there's such a huge variance in the weight babies are born at. Why don't people look at that and say, oh, well, a heavier baby is healthier. Yeah, obviously a heavier baby is healthier. So why aren't we trying to figure out how to make babies heavier? It's, it's obviously related to nutrition uh, and also time of year. Uh, there's so many things wrong with our modern society and, and so many things that are overlooked. I, I never really, I've probably thought of that before, the, the birth weight correlating to uh, nutrition in the diet, but the only way I, I thought about it was bringing it up in a conversation like this. Why is no one talking about this stuff? Uh, the, the mother had a water birth and discharged herself just three and a half hours after delivery. Uh, she returned for a postnatal check three days later. Uh, but from then on, the mother refused a newborn screening, a hearing check, uh, telling the doctor she would rather have her general practitioner do them, but she never saw her general practitioner and was kind of not in contact with any medical authorities whatsoever. Uh, the father told Family and Community Services the couple did not want to put her through immunizations as it was hard on the baby. They didn't want to put her through immunizations, yet they weren't giving the child basic nutrients required for life. A little bit contradictory. The hospital staff initially respected the parents' wishes to keep the infant on a vegan diet, uh, but then grew concerned when the mother outlawed soy because it was full of hormones. I mean, there is some truth to this, but it's better to have, you know, a baby survive and have, you know, bone structure more similar to a female like me. You know, my the shape of my chest the shape of my hips, my upper body, my skeletal structure is much more feminine because I was personally fed a soy formula. And, you know, my sister that was fed a soy formula has always had problems with, you know, her period and menstrual cycle. Saying that soy is full of hormones and can cause harm is warranted, but you're better off being alive and having some issues here and there. Even after the girl had been hospitalized for a week, the parents exchanged text messages denying their daughter's lack of growth was a result of malnutrition. It's it's absurd. These people are literally in their own world of denial. You have to look at all vegans like this. They are so crazy and brainwashed. They will see. They I bet you they could literally have killed the baby. And they would have still said it wasn't the vegan diet. That's what other vegans would say too. I bet you there's some vegans out there that are going to say this was not an issue. This is really good. You know, the, the daughter was put into foster care with her two older brothers. And then within six months, the girl ended up putting on 13 pounds, uh, was crawling and standing on her own. But, you know, there, there are a lot of vegan children, vegan parents on YouTube out there. 
And it's going to be very evident in the future when we see the cognitive function, uh, what these babies look like, what these children end up looking like, how they're behaving. And this is just going to take a couple years, guys. This is what all vegans are doing, just to a lesser extent. Every single baby, toddler, child, teenager raised on a vegan diet is suffering some sort of nutrient deficiency. Some extreme as this, others less apparent. The reason is not obvious because even the average baby or child doesn't get the proper nutrients they need. You know, we don't consume a fraction of the animal foods that we need to for certain nutrients. And even if we do consume animal foods, they aren't high quality because of how we're raising animals now. This has happened many times. There was a couple who did this several months ago in a similar fashion, not giving the baby soy formula. Another baby in Italy was taken to the hospital in similar conditions, weighing only slightly more than a three-month-old at 14 months old. So it seems like the threshold of growth is after maybe that initial breast milk. It doesn't seem like these babies can grow at all on a vegan diet. Italy has so many cases of children on vegan diets being hospitalized for malnutrition. There was another two-year-old girl that spent several days in intensive care for vitamin deficiencies. Back in 2007, a vegan couple was sentenced to life in prison for killing their six-week-old baby boy, feeding them a vegan diet consisting of soy milk and apple juice. In 2011, a French couple was charged with neglect after an 11-month-old baby died from vitamin deficiencies. In 2013, religious vegan parents starved their 14-month-old toddler to death. And another vegan couple killed a baby in 2017. The death was the result of the systematic offer of food which was not suitable, he argued. His health was severely impeded and he eventually died. Any ideas on what the vegan death toll could possibly be? I mean, how many babies do these vegans have to kill before people start doing something about it? There is no drive behind the average omnivore, a carnivore dieter, a meat eater, because they are not attached to a belief system. The reason these vegans do such crazy things and are such activists in many cases and so engaged in convincing other people that their lifestyle, not diet, veganism, I need to stop referring to veganism as a diet, their belief system of veganism is so important to them that they feel the need to do so much for it, yet carnivore dieters, all I really do is talk about the benefits of a carnivore diet. I tell people the importance of animal nutrition, and I'm trying to combat things like this. But I don't go around killing babies and ruining the livelihoods of anyone associated with meat production just because I saw an animal was cute and cuddly. Oink, oink, moo, moo. Uh, maybe I should start uh, wearing some like b my bunny ears from Easter or something and vegans will start liking me too. Uh, but uh, that being said, guys, uh, thank you for joining me today. Uh, please like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It's right next to the subscribe button. Share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, check out some of the videos I'm going to link at the end here. Uh, recently, we did launch Frankie's Free Range Meat, our goal uh, to provide you guys with high quality, nutrient dense animal foods. And we will have selections for young children, kids, very healthy, nutrient dense, properly prepared uh, foods in the future. Uh, if you want to support that vision and see what we're about, uh, go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com. I also recently started uh, the Frankie's Free Range Meat YouTube channel. Uh, this is more of a backup channel right now. Uh, I will be posting videos on this channel in the future. Uh, but this is just in case, you know, with all the vegans attacking me now, who, kn who knows what's going to happen. Uh, but again, thank you guys for watching today. Enjoy the weekend.